This is about their muzzle brake. As you see, this muzzle brake's a little piece, about an inch and a half, goes into the front of the barrel that aids in uh, the recoil. Now, you can only get the muzzle brake installed by Magnum Research. They won't give you the muzzle brake. You can't put it in. They won't sell it. Okay. They offer the muzzle brake in chrome, black, and titanium gold, and in nickel. Now, if you have a tiger stripe Desert Eagle and you want to put this muzzle brake on it, they make you buy the titanium and they put it on. Now, they put the titanium on not because the tiger stripe, you know, you can't put it on. They're saying it's a special process and it's very expensive and they don't offer it in the titanium gold. It's tiger stripe. Well, I did some research and I found out the manufacturer. Well, I actually found the player that plates the guns in the titanium gold and a titanium tiger stripe. And a little bit of Google searching, I was able to get a hold of the man uh, to the plater and ask him if I sent him just the t uh, muzzle brake, would he plate it? He said, "Of course." He said, "I'll even do it for a hundred bucks." Whereas Desert uh, Magnum Research charges f uh, three hundred. So I called Magnum Research and I says, "You know, your plater." told me that they will tiger stripe that muzzle brake. Can you do it? And they says no. So I have, like I can say this one here, but I have another gun that's on layaway. I'm going to be picking up the tiger stripe. I want a muzzle brake on it. Magnum Research is being an asshole. Does not want to um, give me a titanium tiger stripe muzzle brake. He says just put the regular titanium one on it. It would look fine. I says, well, it makes no sense. I mean, the plater will do it. He's saying it's special molds. It means to be die cast and use special blast tape. And I called the uh, plater that does the actual Desert Eagle, the whole Desert Eagle. And he says, no. He says, there are two people that do it. It might be a little off color depending on who's putting the stripes on. But I don't even care on this end if it's a little bit off. Now, I'm going to show you something here. Furthermore, uh, Magnum Research says you can't take these off. It's impossible. It's on permanent. Well, I'll, I'm going to show you something here, guys. Okay, As you can see, it's held in by three screws. Now, I'm thinking that the three, three screws should be holding it down, right? Okay, I went out and got an Allen wrench. And as you can see, I'm turning the screw out, right? Okay, now they're telling me that this is permanently mounted. And as I pull the screws out, they're saying it's permanently mounted. You can't get this out, blah, blah, blah. I look at the screw. Okay, the screw is plated, right? And it's chrome, so this had to be out of there when they plated it. I go here. I take this one off. Okay, this is, I mean, a little hard to get off, but they got a lot of Loctite in them. Get them off. And I was just very careful not to strip it. Okay, so I pull that one off. And I noticed that's got Loctite. But it's plated. These are normally black screws, so they had to plate these before they put them in, correct? Now, there's another hole there. This one here, I was jerking around, and what I did is I, I kind of messed up the... But yeah. Okay, there. you got to be careful on these. Go very slow. And what you will notice when you're turning this here, the actual sight gets loose and it comes off. This is an added benefit. The sight comes off. So now you can see how loose this is getting. Let's keep going and taking this off. This is their permanent job where like they don't want to tell anybody what they're doing here or how to take these off. Like somebody's going to beat them up or somebody's going to blow themselves up. But this is the permanent work. The top one's a little hard to get out because I think it's kind of thin. So I'm going to just put this gun like this and do it so I get a little better leverage here. Yeah, it's kind of tough. But if you just, you know, put some pressure on what you're doing, it you got to be just very slow on this because I really want to strip this shit. That's all you need. Okay. Okay, so that one's off. And guess what, guys? Right? So 
So now, let me take this off. This is what we have. Okay, we have the muzzle brake, which is a pre-curved piece, and they don't even put any anything in there, you know, anything like not even like a little adhesive. It's plated in there. See that? I think they had a little there. And here's your gun. What three little holes on it? So they're not able to take apart Desert Eagle. I just took it apart. So now, and as you can see, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to replace the sight on it, too. See? Very easy. See how they slide in now? Very easy to do that now. So the um, gun. As you can see, it's, it's just a lie. So all they would have had to do is take this piece and instead of titanium, send it out to the, you know, to the plater. They make the holes in the gun themselves. Get it back, put it on, put three screws in it. Is that hard for customer service to do that? No, I don't think it is. But yet they're going to tell me that I have to live with, you know, and it doesn't look bad this way either, but that the titanium one has got to stay like that. Now, what I just did, I'll get a little bit better screws here. I have a removable muzzle brake now. You know, that's that's what I have now. And I could put that, you know, really like this. I, that's kind of cool. But, as you can see, the muzzle brake comes off. And actually could take this, and I think I could take this piece and go and make it bigger if I wanted to. I just got to bring this metal to somebody, and they could put this and, you know, make me a muzzle brake like this. It can't be that much. And have one machined. I'll get one machined, and I can machine it even lighter. And if I wanted to, I could actually have a muzzle brake that's out to here. So I may even see if there's a manufacturer that'll manufacture this, uh, you know, the muzzle brake, make it bigger for me. I'm gonna see if there's somebody. I don't know what it would cost, but it can't be that much. You could do all this like on a on a friggin' lathe or whatever. Probably pretty easy to do this. But you know, um, interesting, huh? And actually, when you have the muzzle brake on it, it's easier to put the sights on. So then, you know, just, you know, screw that in there. Makes it even cooler. You can put anything on there now. So it's kind of nice. So I'm glad I learned this on this on the, on the Desert Eagle. And it was just by, you know, pulling it off. But as you can see, you know, this had to be plated before it was put on. And what happened, see, I sent my barrel. I had a barrel that was black, and I sent it out to the plater. So the plater probably just, you know, unscrewed it. And, uh, you know, probably plated it in here and plated it in that, and then just screwed it and glued it back on. So, uh, but they're saying, oh, it's permanent. This is it's a bunch of shit. Okay. So, I don't believe them. So, but I wanted to show you that how the muzzle brake comes off. So, if you're contemplating getting one, and if you go through the bullshit that you have a Tiger one, and they said they can't plate it, I have a plater that'll plate this. And I may even get a longer muzzle brake for this. I might have somebody make me a two inch. Because if I can get the template for this, this is great. I'll take it to a machinist. And it's, there's no copying, you know, you know, anything because I would have it twice as long. You know, I have this son of a gun out to there. That would be great. So, but I wanted to show you that and, uh, you know, in case anybody's going through the headaches I'm going through with these stupid things. Uh, you know, this would get you taken care of. Okay, so thanks a lot, guys, and I hope this was interesting. I know it was interesting for me. But, um, as you can see, that's all it is. It's removable, and they say it's not. Total lies. They won't, you can't buy this, because they, they won't sell you the muzzle brake, that's true. So, um, I have it. I could probably get this made. So, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. Thanks a lot.